What's going on guys? This is Matt Full Tilt Bullies. Hope everybody's having a nice day. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that video last night, the six week uh, puppy update video. Um, I'm going to keep those coming. Like I said, I got to worm them again, do shots. Um, they'll have some like before and afters on ears, different things like that. Uh, I don't personally do ears. I know people keep asking me about an ear video and this and that. I don't do the ears. My vet does the ears. Um, so, you know, that should kind of put an end to that. Uh, you know, I wish, I wish I did or whatever, but I don't. Um, anyway, today's video is one that I, uh, I was, I went to do a video last night after the puppy video and, uh, my phone was low battery, so it didn't come through. Uh, I, I'm actually going to be able to do it now uh, and I, I wanted to let it be known last night but like i said my video uh cut out on me so uh, as y'all see here i have nero moved down here to uh in this cage i threw this cage up really quick just because uh, i was babysitting some dogs and um i will be re you know redoing these two cages that were added I'm, i've got a floor i'm gonna refloor the other ones and um you know do some kind of little roofing here for uh, temporary until I do metal on the whole thing but anyway as y'all see he is down here separated from Trixie and that is because Miss Trixie is now in heat um, so I'm super super excited about that lady's doing great she's drying up good I'm going to get warmer for her get her cleaned out real good and start feeding her um, you know properly now uh, so as as y'all know i've said before i start doing my weaning process at about six no 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 about four to five weeks i start it by five weeks five and a half I, I like for my pups to be all the way weaned now a lot of people don't do that a lot of people leave the uh puppies on the mama the whole time i in my personal opinion i just don't i don't really agree with that it's good for them um to get that colostrum uh, or not colostrum but that uh milk it's good for their immune systems and stuff but like i said me personally um anybody that breeds and has a little bit of a heart knows when them puppies go in there or uh when the mama goes like back into there and they get older like that she has to stand up to feed them she no longer lays down and feeds them and i will get some footage of this at some point just so people can kind of see but these puppies will they just attack her i'm talking about they jump on her they hang from her boobs and they take their little feet and they like push and scratch and claw and for for in my experience taking them off the way i do it with the milk replacer and worming them and and all the stuff that i do it, it's worked so i'm going to continue doing what i'm what i'm doing oh she's going to drop us a surprise but I do it that way just because, you know, people think that, oh, it's cruel to, um, you know, breed dogs and then separate the mom from the pups. I promise you, by five weeks, six weeks, she, you have to make them go in there with the pups. They don't want to go in there no more. They, they're over it. They're done with it. Uh, it's just hard on them. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, that, that hints the reason why I take them off the way I do. And... Um, you know wean at the times that i do it just it just takes it out of the mama dog and i can take care of them at that point on my own just fine to wood chips to keep keep their pee and poop cleaned up um and like i said milk replacer puppy food etc so it's it's worked out fine nero but like i said i would like to get y'all a video of that kind of you know just what it what it's like so you can see uh you know how hard they are on the mama dog like i said it's she you know she can't even hardly get back into the welfing box for them just trying to pull her down and this is i'll feed them when i start my winning process i feed them and then let her go in there just kind of so they won't you know just completely destroy her and they still attack her like they hadn't ate in a week so um you know like i said it's it's something that i'll uh, i'll be um showing here in the future but uh she is fully off of them uh i'm getting her her milk's drying up good she's she's coming around um so by the time people get here to see their puppies too she should be looking great y'all really get to see her 
um, you know, fully her personality and just how good of a dog she is. But, uh, yeah, Miss Trixie right here. And also, on, on my website, I realize I don't have her uh, pedigree up. I'm going to get on there and uh, get that put together and, and thrown on. Uh, I don't have a, a Bullypedia account, which I probably need to get one just to make it easier. But um, all, her pedigree's on there. So I'll get I'll get all that cropped in and put on there for you just so y'all can see who she's off of. Really, really good, good blood, good breeding. I am super, super excited for that. So Trixie and Nero. And like I said, I'll move him because he'll go crazy sitting there beside her. First blood was yesterday. So, you know, be looking for that breeding video and uh, hopefully we can we can make that happen. Now, Miss Bo, she's actually in heat also. She's started bleeding probably two days before Trixie um but she this is her second heat I could breed her but I'm probably not going to um now if she just swells up really good and looks like she might can I may but I'm probably going to wait to her next heat on her next heat she should be fully mature and good to go um you know I, I highly suggest waiting you know yeah it would be great to breed her and her and get the two litters and have some you know makes make a dollar and all that crap but that's not um you know you can't always just do what you what you want to do as far as uh what you think is going to make you some money you have to do what's best for the dogs and in my personal opinion she's not ready to be a mama yet so i'm going to wait um now like i said now she swelled up real good and and she you know um was was filled out a little bit more maybe like nessa she was a big healthy female mature at, on her second heat so i bred her same as with foxy but she's just kind of not you know not as far along as i would like her to be so i'm gonna wait uh but yeah that's it that's what's going on um foxy she won't get bred on her next heat neither i'm gonna wait maybe i might wait too on her but we'll see um puppies are doing great as y'all seen um everything's moving moving along so be ready for that right there i'm telling you her pedigree is awesome so um you know be be ready quit nero see that's what happens he just goes in there and tears stuff up but y'all have a great day um i'll be back with y'all shortly so take it easy